I came across this photo. Who can tell me the name of these three dancehall entertainers? Look at the photo and tell me. Well, I know you know a couple of them very well. Well, two of them very well, but. <laughs> Well, people, me I gonna tell you just for the joke, of it that is dancehall artist Valiant, Silk Boss, and Pablo YG. But people, me just a look pan Valiant pants. I mean, oh, is a pants that? Or is a shirt? Or is a skirt? You know what, people? <laughs> What is up? Welcome to the true family. Hope each and every one of you is having a blessed and productive day. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you have it already. And make we keep the video off like this. Times it get drastic when people saw them dreams a million in a casket. And people, we did not move out a single. Move out stated that it get real drastic when people tell him that them dream seem laying in a casket. That was actually a Movada song. Now, people, check this out. There is a prophet somewhere there in Africa. And people, there said that his predictions are almost right all the time. Now, he is stating that he sees a coffin following Movado, Stating that he sees death a follow Movado. People, take a look at this. Coffin is following Movado in the spiritual world. Mm. Jamaica dance or actress. Movado. Movado. Coffin is following him in the spiritual world. He needs to wake up. Otherwise, the bad things go in. Now, people, do share your thoughts on this prophet talking about dancehall artist Movado. Well, he's stating that him see a coffin of Fala Movado, that death is approaching dancehall artist Movado. But people, realistically, thinking about it, do you know, coffin of Fala each and every one away, whether you like it or not, because all of we have to dead at some point but you know what i mean some of other probably soon pass off but by the name of jesus that not gonna happen we see lots of prophets you know them always have predictions especially if you dance an artist especially if you dance an artist but people do share your thoughts in the comment section speaking about death door people i came across this story and i found it really interesting you have this young man in this side say, him see a 80 year old man live alone this side say, he might go broke in at the man house, probably I go steal something. And I say, you know, man old and, 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 and feeble right and now him can't do nothing, he can't defend himself. But he came in for a surprise because him go through the man window and him get the unexpected. Him get a stab and him run off. But people, he, he him never dead. You see it? So I tell you people, a God make that old man so strong and can fight off that they look at you there. Because you're a young green youth, you see, you're, you're, not, you're not better than the scam of them where you we are prey upon the old people them for the money. Because you literally see an old man with defenseless and I go rob the man. Instead of you help the elder, you know, you go rob the man. You get exactly what you deserve. But people, do share your thoughts in the comment section. Now oh, people check this out as you know it's a popular social media personality Ivan Rice has been arrested in the United States on multiple different charges and people recently RT Boss actually went live talking about the whole situation and literally playing some voice notes of Ivani from within the prison cell she's literally crying speaking about she hasn't been and lawyers and what is happening people take a listen to this So may I try to please you. So knowing that you have to work with some of my word. Work with some of my word. I have any request to speak to Dotty Man. Me. The eight thousand dollar with the woman, no one tell you where she to pay over there, so we need money tonight. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. The next day. The next day. We need the money tonight. And don't ask me why I'm not going to have a packet. Because the whole always say we are doing it together. So don't ask me why I'm not going to have a packet. We need to find that 8,000 tonight. Can't wait till Friday. Ivan, we want to leave that jail house. She goes as far as say, 
I have that recording, but I know everything I take out. She go as far as say she want the ISIS them come for her and take her out of where she did. She said three days she did it and she no beard. In a way she did is a problem. I, Vani, I feel so sorry for you, girl. I feel so sorry with the whole situation when me are here. You know what I mean? It's a sad news. I mean, I tell us the people wicked no blow out, you know, especially some Jamaican people, you know, because. Why would someone want wish the girl get deported? Why will someone want that nice girl now will love her picnic so much and not take care of her picnic every day the, the girl boasts about eyes? So no see the, the girl is a trying girl. You know what I mean? She get her first youth, brother. No for no girl and boy. Why would you wish bad for her, brother? For she get separated from her youth, her first youth. You know how much baby mother get separated from them youth and they drive them crazy and destroy them future? Brother, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. God no like ugly. God no like ugly. You know who the one that happened to you now, no family member for you. So why you know wish bad for her? She a try, she a try her best. A good mother, everybody can see that. So anybody a bad for about the girl, a wicked or you no know, wicked. Now and then people might have them look arguing. But regardless, man, I saw Uno eat the girl. That's Uno who got a problem with even the girl Pitney. Uno if you stop, man. I have love for others. And Uno make Jamaican people can't get better off because Uno just wish bad and pray and want bad things to happen to each other, brother. And sister, Uno if you stop it. Make you live and unite and live as one. Uno can't get up. Uno can't get up. And the abs. Eight for no one another for some simple thing. Everybody are gonna make it in a wafi or fear. Wafi me or me, wafi or fear. Everybody make mistake at time. But come on, man, you don't have to wish bad for the girl. Eh? We don't want to separate from her picture and go crazy and so far. Come on, man. Wow. Now, people, speaking about incarceration, speaking about jail, speaking about imprisonment, the baby mother of Philip Paulwell, Leona Bradshaw, yes, the infamous Leona Bradshaw, there are some reports circulating in the internet that she has been impregnated by a police officer right in the jail house there. The police take out him wing and fly. Well, people, these are all allegations. People, take a listen to this. Rumors have circulated on social media alleging that Leoda Bradshaw was impregnated by a, a policeman at the St. Catherine lockup she is being held at. Is there any truth to these rumors? Um, and so we heard the allegation and immediately commissioned an investigation around it. We also removed the officer who was so um, accused um, from the station. But our investigation to this point has not um, sh shown that there's any truth to the allegation. And so, so far, um, the allegation seems to be false. Jamaican people, we've been living with high crime rate for decades upon decades. And we see solution like SOE state of emergency that has not been effective in lowering crime. In my opinion, what we need is leadership with vision and integrity and also BALLS balls to reform and transform the entire system. In my humble opinion, only one leader comes to mind. And that is Sir P from Politics Watch. People, I believe if we the 70 plus percent of voters who did not partake in the local election decide to support such a leader, I know Jamaica can be a beacon of hope that everyone can enjoy. So people, in my humble opinion and observation, I believe Sir P from Politics Watch should be 
the next leader of Jamaica. And Sir P, if you're out there and listening to me, I know I don't really have much impact or sway, but it's something for you to think about. I believe you can start a new political party and the rest of Jamaicans, especially the bloggers, can push this new party and make you become the next prime minister of our beautiful island. Sir P, I endorse you and I support you to become the next prime minister of Jamaica. Now, people, I see this video circulating on the internet of this person speaking about popular YouTuber Sir P from Politics Watch. Now, people, after watching the video, I would say that this man is Sir P. It's like we really find Sir P. <laughs> come on people you know that i am just joking sir p would not expose himself on the internet but this man better be careful because him have a rough voice like that him have a very you know what i mean you can hear the the the, the, the sir p voice even though sir p sir p probably have one look of fine voice you know people yeah man sir p probably be one look of nerd in one glass and hardly can talk but you know because of the computer effect him sound like that what people I, I don't think this man is surfy but he better be careful but do you agree with what he's actually saying though let me know in the comment section they should definitely make it a law that when you're driving at night you drive with a light pan dim because me can't fucking see me can't fucking see nothing especially me I come over on highway me can't see a blood clot with the whole heap of bright light them a shine pan me and me yeah just a dazzle me we don't need for dim in the fucking light. Them need for make it a lot. Dim your fucking light when you're driving. My God. Now, people, this is so true. You ever drive a night and this big old headlight there in your face and you're like, brother, you can't dim your light. It's like I just pure judgment here for your drive off at that point because you can't see nothing. At that point, you can't see a thing. And if there should be a law, if there isn't already, educate me in the comment section. But if there should be a law like that, the government would have collected the amount of money. They would have to drop taxes off of some items because the money them can't drive without them big old headlights. I don't know. That is why there are so many accidents here in Jamaica. But people, do share your thoughts in the comment section. Speaking about that door, people, I am going to leave you with this video I found where it stated that this person, this Rasta man actually, is stating that white rice no good fear none at all. What when we say white rice not good for you, we all know that white rice isn't good for you. But the way how him talk, he make me feel like some gonna stop eating white rice. And uh, from the day, my born me and white rice, so me don't know how me not dead yet. But you know what, people, <laughs> take a look at this video. White rice is not food. It will never be, be be food, and it can never be food. White rice is dead rice. It is rice without life. And if you consume this white rice. It will remove the life out of you. If you perpetually eat this, meaning continuously, meaning persistently, eat white rice, you will end up with your belly full and you're still hungry. You will be packed with mucus. You'll be packed with worms. You will be packed with nothing but shit inside of your system. People, white rice wasn't always white. The rice is bleached. And not just bleach, but also chemicalized. And then them call it enrich rice, meaning that them put back something inside of it. Where you ended up washed out of it when you go cook it. Not everyone wash rice, but no in Jamaican, we are going to wash the rice. So we are going to wash out all of the added minerals or whatever them put in it. And it is synthetic. How long can that last? The rice is white because it's a way to preserve the rice. It wasn't always white. I bleach them bleach it to preserve it so that it can ten, stay 10, 15 years without breaking down. So if you eat white rice, you ain't eating anything. 